man, if Supa's going to dump park in the grass, he can get beat up by the last Baltimore player. <laughs> uh, maybe we can get GT to beat Supa. All right, anyways. So, um, KD3 plays a lot of Kirby against Minio at the weekly. At least I think he does. But... Okay. Uh, Minio used to go pink. Um, but, uh, I, I don't know if Jamjar really, you know, has a lot of Pika experience. I think he tends to play against Falcons in bracket, but we'll, we'll, we'll see. Um, he's doing great so far. Um, the real, uh, the real test might end up being, um, how he does against Puff. If he's able to, um, take this one, he's... Off to a really great start. Nice uh, nice oh. <laughs> doesn't, uh, doesn't quite get the edge guard. Oh, that was great. So he knew that, um, he knew that, um, he was going to try an up tilt. So Jamjar did the normal fall down air instead of a fastball. Um, but KD3 looking pretty strong, like look, looking like he could come back. He's hurt. Um, he's down a stock, but um, early on Jamjar, yeah, Jamjar looked great to start, and he looked like he was going to build himself an even stronger lead. But he's getting pushed off by KD3. KD3 does not have an answer for. Uh, Jamjar's down airs. Um, he's doing a good job mixing up fast fall and slow fall. And, uh... Oh! Yeah, he fell right into that up tilt. KD3 was ready. Um, that's a great edge guard option against uh, Kirby going high. I feel like I, uh, a lot of times, would rather go out with a back air than push him lower. But KD3, 69%, looking to uh, actually take a stock lead. It's great down air. Let's see if Jamjar can't make it back. Wow. Uh, KD3 with a huge swing. Oh. Oh, I couldn't get the edge guard there. Jamjar is a little too slippery. kind of insight you got for a sizzle. I got nothing. I don't like these characters. <laughs> I love these characters. They're great. This matchup, it's one of those matchups is going to take, probably not this one specifically, but it will take like six minutes. Yeah, so it, de out. it depends on the players, yeah. but it can definitely take eight minutes. Uh, oh. These matchups in the game, I think, are realistically going to time out. Puff, Puff Pika, Puff Kirby. Oh. Uh, this is not looking good for Jamjar. Great edge guarding from uh, K3. Oh, he fast falls though. Oh, he, he gets the kill by taking So, wow, K3 really turned that around. Uh, Jamjar was all over him to start, and K3 just brought it back. He had a huge mid game adjustment. Yeah, I noticed as the game went on, he was getting better about. Uh, not getting caught in down airs, and also getting a lot of like up airs. Yeah, he was really killing him, uh, like carrying him off stage and making sure to get the edge guard. That was an iffy uh, jump into up tilt there. That was a good recovery from Damjar. Oh, gotta chase on that side pile a little, uh, a little better. Wow. I really like that uh, anticipating shield drop down air from Jamjar. The down smash though, extending his hurt boxes, getting him grabbed. Should be an easy edge guard. Yeah. Not really a lot of options for KD3 there. I thought that um, I thought he was Jamjar was going to F smash and that KD3 was going to angle it up a little bit, um, but the down air would have caught him and that's. That's why Jamjar is a Kirby main. Like that. <laughs> oh. 
Uh, KD3 getting a little antsy for the combo for the up smash. Oh wow! Great recovery. Catches him with the up B, the whole the whole thing. And K3 doing a great job of using up air to protect his jumps as he's coming back onto the stage. Um, throw out an empty hop like that, or throw it out too late, and you get caught by a down air. Um, Jamjar will make sure to punish him for that. Oh, got him where he, where he wants him. Oh, he tried to throw out the down uh, the up air there. Was that too early or too late? It was all a blur. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I think it was too early. Yeah. Oh, Tamtar uses all of his jumps and then gets hit by an up air. Oh, oh he purposely gets hit by the shock but couldn't make it back. Not gonna save it. Nice little chain from Jamjar. Not even gonna have oh, I thought he was gonna down air at the ledge. And another great slow fall down air from uh, Jamjar. That was a really good job dodging those. Oh. I'm sad that uh, Jimmy Joe, DFX, Kuzina are going to make it. Oh, he gets oh. him with the up B spike. Die, but he at least takes that Pika stop. Huge, huge trade for Jamjar. Uh, puts him right back in this. Oh, and KD3 getting a little aggressive with that uh, fast fall down air. Jamjar gets a nice combo, but doesn't take the stock. I think up B spike would have been an option there. I don't know well, yeah, the Revan, the Revan combo. That was definitely something. Oh, great catch with the forward air. He saw him phasing out and realized Pika's up, he doesn't do damage. I can just throw out a hitbox in there, and it worked. I love the option to use down to in these last two edge guards. Oh, and Jam Jar. So, just like in game one, uh, now Jam Jar has turned it around after being down. Uh, KD3 is all over him, though. Could tie it up right here. Great up air. Uh, anticipating the down air from uh, Jam Jar. Um, up smash is a good option. I think maybe if Jam Jar tried to fast fall and then up B to the sweet spot, KD3 might not have been ready with the down tilt. It's generally an easier edge guard when Kirby goes low, but might have been a good mix up there. But KD just abusing Jam Jar with those up airs. Sneaks in the back air there. Oh, he's, uh -oh. he's got a jump. Oh, and KD3 taking a 2-0 lead on Jamjar. Jamjar doesn't ha really have other characters. He's staying Kirby. Yeah, Kirby. Free for all! Jigglypuff! Oh, but the Jigglypuff switch for KD3. I don't know. Three, two, one. Interesting switch. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. Maybe, maybe that one last one was too close for comfort. I wonder if we're gonna see a time. We can only hope. I love me a timeout. Do we really want a timeout? Yes, we always do. And it's not even six o'clock. Of course, we want a timeout. The real question is: Did Jamjar find my phone charger? Oh, so KD3 did not fall off the stage. Wispy did not blow him off. Jamjar, I think that was his first hit of the game. Down three to five. Um, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure he doesn't know this matchup. Um, he knows Pika pretty well, but KD3 just had a solid edge there. Uh, Jamjar definitely getting greedy there. Oh, he gets grabbed out of the jump. Mm -hmm. Nice grab. Not gonna kill. Yeah, uh, KD3 is at a high percent, but so is Jamjar. Oh, he had the opportunity there to punish that missed down smash. He was not ready for it. Oh, oh he uh, and he gets a grab. So Jamjar takes us the first stock, but he has uh, dug himself a pretty strong hole. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, he faced the wrong way with that up tilt. Uh, KD3 up 42. Things are getting bleak. Kamjar is running out of time. Oh, wow. That was a nice combo from KD3. Just horizontal across the stage. That was just fancy. It was yeah. fancy but efficient. And Jam Jar, oh, oh, putting himself, oh, putting himself in a bad si situation. Yeah. Oh, I thought he would get a counter edge guard there. Oh, up tilt. Yeah, he's just going. Yeah, he's just. Jam Jar is just at a loss. And KD3. That's two straight uh, three O's. Are we playing winners finals? Oh, I guess it's loser semi, so yeah.